So dear friends, today I thought I'll try for the first time I'm going to try. It's my mom's recipe of a beautiful dessert that she makes whenever she's got guests or when we go home and it's just a lovely, very light, beautiful dessert. I have only been eating it all these years. I have never tried making it. So today I'm going to try it and for all of you. And so bear with me and let's do it together and let's see how it comes, okay? And um, I have to say, when she makes it, it's like the dessert is already in the fridge by the time I wake up. So let's just try it. cups of milk then we have two tablespoons each of apricot cherries sultanas and dates then we have one and a half tablespoons of gelatin powdered biscuit is four tablespoons two eggs sugar we have to take six tablespoons then we need cream that is nine tablespoons that is a bit of vanilla essence one teaspoon is fine yeah so that's it all the stuffs, all the ingredients for putting the crumbs. So here we're going to eat the two eggs and six tablespoons of sugar. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm going to add warm milk and. Now this mixture, I'm going to double boil to thicken it, then I'll be adding the cream and the gelatin. So I'm double boiling the mixture and so I'm using the steel container. Okay, I think it is thick enough. Guys, when you're doing double boil, make sure the water doesn't go into the dessert, okay? So see how it's thickened now? So I'm going to stop now. That's the thickness we are talking about. Right. So after cooling this a bit, I'm going to put the cream to it. And then I strain the gelatin that I mixed with some warm water. And I'm going to add that in too. Mix all this together. Then I'm going to also add a bit of the vanilla essence so probably just one teaspoon so that's mixed now we have greased the mold with a bit of uh, salad oil now i'm going to put a layer of cherries at the bottom and maybe a bit of apricots just to look pretty one third of the mold we're going to pour after that sets, we're going to put this in the fridge, let it set. We have the uh, pudding diplomat. The first layer has set. So now I'm going to add the biscuit layer on it. And I'm going to put some of those fruits. So, and then I'm going to fill in the rest of the custard above it this is how it should be covered it can be covered all the way up to the brim as well okay now I'm going to put it for setting and once it sets then uh, we can try reverse it hopefully it works mom's case it does work my case I'm not very sure let's try so I'm just loosening the sides So normally it's better to have a thin metal aluminium pudding bowl. Yeah? Okay, it's come out good. There you go. 
Okay, so we have our beautiful pudding diplomat. You can just decorate it with more cherries if you like. Okay, so let's try tasting. That. So let's taste our pudding diplomat, okay? It's nice. So our pudding diplomat has come out good. Try it at home. And it's a very light, not too sweet. It's just enough. Very nice. Very light pudding and very nice. Try it. This year, Mother's Day is on 9th of May. So, whole of May, we want to have Mother's Day special recipes going on. And most importantly, we want to honor your mother, which means you're going to be part of it. We want you to send us four things by email, okay? Number one is you send us your most favorite recipe that your mother used to cook for you when you were a child, okay? That you most remember. Number two, we want a lovely photo of you and your mother together, okay? Number three, we want a brief message from you to your mother. So it's like you are opening your heart and speaking your message to your mother. We will read it on your behalf, okay? Now the fourth thing is that that's optional. You can send your phone number and your phone number will be totally confidential and will not be shared ever. And that's my promise. And we will only use your number, contact you if and only your mother is a winner. Okay, that's a surprise. So your mother will be a winner of $200 gift hamper if her recipe gets the maximum view by the end of June. So whole of May, we're going to be playing your all different recipes from all of you. And by the end of June, we will assess who's the winner. Then there's a deadline to this. Your recipe and all these four aspects should reach us before 31st of March. However, I wouldn't wait that long because it's going to be first come first serve basis so whichever recipes are reaching us first we will be shooting them sooner the first few recipes will be showing before mother's day and the rest will show on mother's day and after mother's day so whole of may we will celebrate your mother okay so let's do this send us your email really quickly on Amma's love 2020 at gmail.com. Okay? And send us your email really quick. Okay? Let's do this. Mm -hmm.